Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you featuring several new products from the latest greetery release. It's called the Garden Party Collection. And you know I love everything the greetery makes and you love everything the greetery comes out with. This month is no exception. Today we're featuring the Sips Tea Stamp, Dye, and Stencil products. So these make uh, beautiful little teacups. And you've got the die set, the stamp set, the stencil set, and all that. And then for sentiments, I'm going to be using the Brutiful Day sentiments. It's a stamp set with a coordinating die set. And then there's also the A2 Stitch Scallop dies. These come in three different sizes, and they give you this um, scallop border for backgrounds. Coordinates well with the scallop gingham stencil, so you can make like a gingham pattern on your scallop little panels. They also have the stencils in three different sizes, so you can get a lot of different sizes. And then the star of the show, the tipsy strip die. I just like saying that, tipsy strip. But it makes you be able to stack your teacups and almost make it interactive. You can tip them. I'll show you at the end, but it's kind of fun. So here's the Sips Tea little mini, mini stamp set that comes in the die set. And you can stamp on your tea bag, which I'll show you later. But you get four different teacups with different patterns and I'm using solid color cardstock. This is all Concord Ninth, some of my favorite colors. I just kind of went with this, oh, kind of um, peachy aqua color scheme. And when you die cut the teacups, it also gives this fun textural pattern in them. And then we're gonna zhuzh it up with the stencil, just to add a little bit more color. Um, so many fun things you could do to really zhuzh up your, your little teacups. You can go as simple or as detailed as you want. I believe the cardstock I'm using is Nectar, Grapefruit, uh, Sea Glass, and Eucalyptus. I'll have everything linked in the description box if I forget to mention a product. But here's the Sips Tea stencil set. And we're going to use that to add a little more detail to our teacups. Now, a lot of times I would put a die cut down on a sticky mat, but I just didn't bother today because when you lay the stencil over, it really does kind of lock into place. And if you just hold it down with your finger, it's not moving. I mean, if you want to take the time to get out the sticky mat, I was too lazy. I'm just being honest. Okay, so I've got my eucalyptus teacup here, and I'm going to blend eucalyptus ink on it. So we're going kind of tone on tone, nothing too outrageous. I didn't want to bring in any more colors, although I think some gold detail could be fun. I'm not sure how you would do I think Betsy shared a video how she added some gold detail to her teacup. So there's different ways to do it. Uh, but I'm just blending kind of tone on tone, eucalyptus on the eucalyptus die cut. Not going too dark, nothing gradient, just a little smidge. And look at how that looks. It just gives an extra little added detail. And then next we have the grapefruit teacup. And again, I'm blending grapefruit ink. And I just kind of lock in place the die cut over the stencil. I mean, I probably should have stuck it down, but I'm keeping it real with you. Too lazy. Too lazy. And now this is a tiny, tiny little detail on the teacup. So you really got to, you know how you blend to the right, blend to the left to get in the little nooks and crannies of all that. Um, do you guys collect like china like this? My mom has all kinds of this stuff, the, the teacups and the saucers and all the things. And I love it, but I don't have, I don't really have anything fancy. We don't have a matching mug set in this house. It's just all a mix master of like gifts, like best hockey coach and soccer mom and <laughs> crazy mugs, nothing. But one day, one day I do dream of having a nice set of matching uh, you know, coffee mugs, teacups, something with saucers, you know, keep dreaming on that. Here we have nectar. Uh, again, blended nectar on nectar. And this is a nice, I love these super pale tones, uh, the, this, the nectar and the grapefruit, just so pale. And I don't know, it just kind of, for me, it's like soothing sometimes. When this whole garden party release with the greetery is very like china, fine china, and it's very feminine. Okay, so here's the tipsy strip. I'm going to die cut the tipsy strip and the three little circles that come with it. Just die cut it into some scrap 
white cardstock. And here's what she looks like. And I'm going to show you how to put this together. Betsy also has a video over on the Greetery blog. If you want to check out, she probably explains this better. But when you die cut the teacups, it also cuts a little strip so you can tuck the teacup in one another, you know, and like stack them. So once you get them stacked, how you wanna, you're gonna have to, I probably should have held this down with post-it tape and then flip it over, make sure they're straight. And this is how I do this. Um, you're just gonna tuck in. I don't think Betsy tucked hers in. This was the development that I, this is the redneck method. I tucked in my tipsy strip. You just wanna make sure that every one of those three slots is kind of centered in the back of the teacup. And I'm using some of these circle little uh, foam dots. Uh, Betsy sent those to us and they work great. I'm gonna have to get some little mini, mini little circle foam dots because it really helps for a project like this. You need like a little bit of dimension that can fit inside that little slot. I am trying to center this tipsy strip. It doesn't have to be perfect. But so that's what I'm doing there. Just one dot in the center of each little thing. And then I tear off the backing and pop on that circular little disc. So everything's not sticky and you can move this and put it on your project um, like so. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to uh, put together the old tipsy strip. I did put one more foam dot down at the bottom just to keep that bottom teacup dimensional. I'm gonna set this aside and work on the background. I have a panel of buttercream cardstock that I'm die cutting with the largest of the A2 stitch scalloped dies. And look at that beautiful texture it does around the edge. And you could use it just like as is, but I'm gonna add the scallop gingham stencils to it to create a fun little tone on tone pattern. So since I die cut this out of buttercream, I'm going to blend buttercream ink to create the gingham uh, pattern. And so I'm just going to line this up. I'm just eyeballing it so it kind of locks into that scallop pattern using post-it tape to hold it down. Um, yeah, since I'm doing everything kind of tone on tone, I'm just keeping with the tone on tone, you know, just being consistent. And I am holding down my stencil. I don't want those gingham stripes to, to move while I'm blending. I can be an aggressive blender and I didn't want my, you know, those stripes can shimmy if you're not careful. So I just kind of hold it down. You could also use some of that um, pixie spray. I have a couple cans of that when you want to hold down a stencil really securely. You just use that pixie spray, make sure that it's dry and tacky, and then it will hold your stencil perfectly in place. Uh, okay, so doing a little bit in the middle. I'm not being too careful to get the middle because I know my teacups are really going to cover that part. So there you have the stripes going one way. And then now I'm going to lay on the second stencil and it's going to create your gingham pattern. Again with the buttercream. Um, if you check out what the design team created, they made some beautiful projects doing all kinds. I'm always amazed at how we can have uh, all the same products but create such different looking projects using different colors and just different layouts and compositions. It's really fun to see. So I'm holding down that stencil again. I'm using one of the, um, these are the Simons and Stamp Rainbow Splash blender brushes. I like them, they're nice and big so you can cover a large area in a short amount of time. So there you have the gingham pattern in buttercream on buttercream. And then now I see how I, I'm gonna center these teacups right on there. I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of those little discs and then take the backing off that bottom foam dot, flip this over and carefully adhere it right onto this gingham pa panel. I'm trying to center it right there in the center, pop down the bottom one and then carefully get them all straight, let it dry. And now you can see that the teacups can be tippy. Just, I'm being a little bit gentle right now because it's not completely dry, but when it's, you know, fully dry, you can be more confident to tip the teacups. Okay, I have a white card base, just a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base, put a little tape runner on it. Uh, you could do foam tape if you wanna, 
popping down the panel and then all that's left to do is add a sentiment. So I'm using the Brew Tea Full stamp set and it says Spill the Tea. And I stamped that with Versifying Onyx Black Ink using the coordinating die to cut it out, take this off camera, run it through my die cut machine. And then I went ahead and die cut two more out of white and I'm gonna stack these up just to give that sentiment strip just a smidge. You know what I say, dimension is life. Okay, so there you've got your stacked up spill the tea, putting a little bit of glue on the back of it. And I'm just gonna put this kind of right at the base of that grapefruit teacup. And then now here is a little tea bag um, string and little tea bag tag. I don't know if that's what you call it, but um, this is the daintiest little thing you ever seen. I'm gonna stamp a little, little sentiment. There's several little ones that you can stamp. They're so teeny tiny and a little border. I'm using latte ink on that teeny border. Just on, I use buttercream cardstock again, kind of keeping with the same, uh, same theme. And this says tea time, but there's other ones that say, you know, I think thank you, happy birthday, stuff for different occasions. So I'm gonna glue that little string onto the inside of that little tea bag tag. Is that what you call these things, a tea bag tag? I should have Googled that. I'm not a huge tea drinker. I'm not a hot drinker, if I'm being honest with you. I don't really do coffee, tea. I do water. I do a lot of water. And then occasionally if I go out for a burger and fries, I like the Coke. You know, but uh, okay, so a little bit of glue on the end of that string and I'm tucking it right in to that grapefruit teacup. Let it dry and look at how fun this is. I can't take it. And I I'm being very, I'm being very dainty with the teacups, but look at how they tip. It's so fun. You probably have to tell the recipient, hey, tip the teacup. Why don't you? but also spill the tea. I love that sentiment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure and check out the new Garden Party Collection release with the Greetery. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.